So do you have any idea why they can't disclose to me, the person who's being affected by this, what I was actually suspended for? What's up guys, my name is Blake Moore and welcome to More Finance where we talk all things DoorDash, all things Uber Eats, and a little bit of stock market. Now in this video, I wanted to do something a little bit different for you guys. And as you know, I've been suspended from DoorDash for almost a month now. And we're creeping up on a month just this week and still have heard absolutely nothing. Like not a single thing about my case, not a single thing about anything. And so what I'm gonna do for you guys today is I'm actually going to go on a live call with DoorDash support. And we're just gonna see what happens. I just, I thought it might be fun to do just Give them a call right here, film it for you guys, and see how I interact with them, and see just what what, what DoorDash support tells us. Like, we're going to figure this out, and hopefully, maybe by the end of the call, I get reactivated. Who knows? Now, we are joined by Scout. He's right there. He's he's keeping us safe. He's watching out the window, you know. Got to make sure no one... No one comes up to me while I'm filming, you know, he's keeping an eye out for me. But anyway, to give you guys a little bit of background, I was suspended about four weeks ago from DoorDash. And so far since then, I've emailed them about eight times, I would say. About twice a week, I email them trying to find an update on my case. And then I've also called them about two or three times as well. So now we're going to do a live call. You guys are going to witness the whole thing and we're just going to see what happens. Let's get right into it. All right, guys. So we pull it up right here and I'm going to do the call us right there. Let's see what happens. Thank you for calling DoorDash. To continue in English, press one. Please listen carefully as our menu options may have changed. If you are a customer, please press one. If you are an active dasher, please press 2. If you are a restaurant on our platform or you'd like to become one, please press 3. If you are not a dasher but would like to become one, please press 4. If you would like to report a serious safety issue, please press 5. I guess I'm number 2. Please hold while we retrieve your details. Please listen carefully as our menu options may have changed. Mm. Press 1 if the customer is unavailable. Press 2 if the store is closed. Press 3 if you are calling about an issue not related to a live delivery. Press 4 if the store did not receive the order. Number and press three. If you are calling about scheduling a dash, please press 1. Press 2 to sign up to become a dasher. Press 3 for payment questions. Press 4 for reactivation requests and appeals. And press 5 Number for four. assistance. There we go. If you are looking to submit a request to appeal your deactivation, please submit an appeal through the DoorDash Help Center at help.doordash.com. I've done that dashers. three times For submitted now. appeals, you will receive a response after the review is completed. Please note that only your first submitted appeal will be reviewed. Press 1 if you would like to return to the main menu, or please hang up. Looks like I gotta go back in and try and find a please human, because they're just giving me a robot. Press 1 if the customer is unavailable. Press 2 if the store is closed. Press 3 if you are calling about an issue not related to a live delivery. If you are calling about scheduling a dash, please press 1. Press 2 to sign up to become a dasher. Press 3 for payment questions. Press Guess 4 we'll do for payment. I gotta talk to a human somehow. Your call may be recorded for training this and quality ridiculous. purposes. ridiculous. It's been like over Please three minutes already. Please stay on the line after your call for a brief survey about your uh... experience. Thank you for calling your data support. This is Mike. How can I assist you today? Hi. So I actually had my DoorDash account deactivated about a month ago, and. I have not heard a single thing back from you guys. I've been trying to email with you guys and do all sorts of stuff, and I've not heard a single thing on, like, what my case is doing, if there's a timetable of when I can get reactivated. I haven't heard anything, and I was wondering if you could help me out with that. Okay. I understand you're having issues right now when it comes to your deactivation, and you didn't uh, receive any uh, feedback regarding with this, right? Yes. Okay, thank you so much for raising up this concern in my end. Okay, am I speaking with Blake? Yes, this is Blake. Uh, 
I understand how frustrating this is for you, Blake, but let me help you with this by pulling up your account so I could give you feedback regarding with this, okay? Okay. Just stay on the line, please. Okay. Looks like we're just going to chill here for a little while he checks stuff out. I'm not really sure what he's doing, but hopefully it's not too long. We got Scout back there looking for any danger. Thanks, buddy. Scout, come here. Oh, yes. What a good boy. You want to say hi to YouTube? Say hi, buddy. Dang it. Oh, he sees something. Thank you for staying on the line, Blake. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hello. Hello. Okay, in regards to your concern, I could see here my end that you already emailed for this one. Yes. Uh, about this, and you only have um, reactivation of pushback. So, um, regarding with this, just wait for them. Uh, to reach out to you. That's the only thing I could uh, see here in my end regarding with it since uh, so, the call that you do have have uh, gathered all the information. So you're saying I, you're saying there was pushback for the reactivation? Um, yes. And you don't know why that is? Um, regarding with this, we don't have any specific um, information. The only thing we can do right here is just uh, see in our end uh, your name, the case number, and the details. So why why haven't I been concerned during that? Why well, why haven't I been again? like told anything? I haven't like you guys haven't responded to me in over a month now. So like, it's just hard for me to sit there and wait for you guys to get back to me when that could be like a year for all I know. Okay, uh, regarding with this, um, your account is uh, was deactivated and upon checking here my end, you did the appeal for this one? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, regarding with this, you have to wait for them to reach out on you. Okay, They're so... They're still uh, verifying some information regarding with this. Okay, the problem is, um, like I've dealt with this before, for some reason I got suspended in January, and it was not getting resolved, I didn't hear anything from you guys, and I had to just keep calling over and over again, and I eventually got mad enough, and you guys reactivated it, and it was like almost on the spot, so how come, like, this is taking so long and the process is taking so long and I haven't heard a single thing back when I got an email like a month ago saying I would hear something within 24 to 48 hours and I haven't gotten anything back okay in regards to that one Blake um, you have to wait for them to reach out on you regarding with this uh, since um, you called for today, I only add up some call reference, so it will be brought up to uh, our um, department regarding with this. So is, there's no way for me to talk to someone higher up, like a manager or something? Um, regarding with this, we don't have any specific number for them to reach out to you because they're working on uh, by an email. Okay, so is there an email I can get to like send them something because this is just getting ridiculous uh, regarding with that one we have also specific um, email address so in order for you to um, know for this one just wait for them to reach out on you and you can reply on them so I know I know you've said that but like me waiting for them to reach out do you have any timetable on that because I've been waiting a month now and like this is affecting my livelihood. I do DoorDash for a living and so it's been over a month now. If like you were a month without work, then that would really affect your life. So like you guys suspended me from my job without any warning and now it's been a month since I've heard anything. So I just, I don't know what else I can do. Okay, I do apologize for that one for the inconvenience, Blake. 
but as what you said, uh, as what I said earlier, um, I don't have any specific time frame when or a uh, uh, specific date when they're gonna reply on you because uh, this time uh, it's uh, working on a first come first serve basis. So are you guys just extremely slow at accepting these or like I, I just don't get what's going on because it's just been a month at this point and last time a couple months ago when I got suspended it would have probably taken a couple months but because I was calling you guys constantly then you it got done in about an hour so I'm just like what do I have to do to get that to happen? Okay, just give me a moment. Okay, I'm double checking here on my end. Um, Lake, mm -hmm. that's the only thing I could do right now to help you with this. Just wait for them to reach out on you. Okay, is there, like, going to be an email sent to me? Because that's what I've been trying to say, is that, like, I was sent an email saying I'd hear back from you guys within 24 to 48 hours, and that was a month ago. So, does it mean, like, 24 to 48 months? I'm just kind of confused why it's taking this long. Just to, just to get a simple email back from you guys. Like, I'm not saying the case needs to be closed by then, but, like, I just haven't even gotten an email back yet. Okay, um, regarding with this, um, as what I said earlier, uh, we don't have any specific time frame for this. But since you're asking for that one, I was just going to add one, this, to your call reference. Okay? Okay. And I'm just... Okay. Okay. So, are you... I already add up this one as your call reference for today. What was that? So, I only, uh, I done add up the, um, your call reference for today. My call reference? So, regarding with it, yes. I mean, you're concerned about this one that it's been a month that they never reach out on you regarding with this. Okay. And you were asking for a um, specific time frame. Okay. And when they will gonna okay. reply on you. Okay. And I just have another question. Um, do you have any, like, can I get any more information on why I was suspended or deactivated? In regards to that one, uh, we do can't, we cannot disclose any information if they activated. So, At first, they will be going to send to you what was the reason why your account is deactivated. So, like, I don't even get to know why this happened? Um, regarding that one, as much as I want to um, help you with this play to know what was the reason of your um, deactivation, but we cannot disclose the details of your deactivation. Like you can't. At first, uh, DoorDash will be sending you an email, the reason why your account is deactivated. Did you receive that one? Yeah, but it didn't give me any specifics. It just was very generic. It didn't even tell me really anything as to why I was actually deactivated. Just said like I broke one of the rules or something. So like nothing specific whatsoever. So that's the only email uh, reason that you're getting uh, into uh, Blake. So when it comes to your, um, what was the reason of your um, deactivation? What do you mean by that? That's the only email I get. Yeah. Since you never received any um, information, why what, uh, what was the reason or the main reason why your account is deactivated? Right? Uh, so what I said earlier, it's just like a generic one. So you never received for that one. So uh, that's the only email that uh, they can provide you. 
So do you have any idea why they can't disclose to me, the person who's being affected by this, what I was actually suspended for or deactivated for? You Like, do you have any idea um, as to why they can't disclose that to me? Yeah, um, regarding with that one, um, Blake, uh, as much as I want to say to you the um, information, what was the reason of your deactivation, this call is recorded, so if ever I was going to say that one, I will be violated for the policy that we do have. Okay, so basically what I'm getting is you guys can't tell me anything and there's no timetable as to when I'll be reactivated and I just have to wait and hear from you guys which could be uh, about a year. Yeah. Hold up guys, I just wanted to interject real quick while I'm editing this video. He just agreed with me that it could take a year. Like, I just realized that. I literally tell him it could be about a year and he's just like, yeah. Wow, DoorDash support, you really need to be better. Back to the video. All right. Thank you so much for trying to help me. Thank you for so also, Blake, for your understanding regarding with this. All right. Um, I'm just going to add up this one for your concern for today regarding with this. Okay? Okay. Thank you so much, Blake. Have a good one in your end, and bye for now. Bye. So, basically... What I gathered from that is they, for some reason, can't disclose to me, the person who's being affected by this whole thing, why I was suspended, why I was deactivated. And they know, they, he literally just said he can't tell me or it's going to violate the code that they have. That doesn't make much sense to me. I don't know why I'm not allowed to know, but... Basically, I could be waiting a year, two years, three years, a decade. Who knows? Because there's no timetable. I have no idea when they're going to get back to me. And pretty much just once again proves DoorDash support pretty much sucks. They, I mean, the guy, the guy did his best. It's just the whole infrastructure of what DoorDash allows their support agents to do. Which, it just doesn't make sense why they won't allow them to do really anything like you see right there even when I'm going through trying to figure out how to talk to a person when I do the appeal and the reactivation when I hit number four just takes me to a robot and just says wait for an email email this or hang up the phone like doesn't really give you anything and then so I had to go in through the pay line and then I get this guy and they don't allow him to do anything. It's just wrong in my opinion. And if you guys want to comment down below any struggles you've had with DoorDash support, just so we can all relate to each other, I'd greatly appreciate it. I respond to everyone. And with that said, I think you guys have heard enough from me. I think this just goes to show how bad DoorDash support is and how something really needs to be done because it's just flat out wrong that if this was my full-time job, which it kind of was, um, but luckily I have Uber Eats and Postmates and stuff like that to compensate. But if I didn't, then they'd literally be taking away my job, my livelihood, when I have rent to pay, car payments, food to provide, and just stuff like that. Like, you're literally giving someone no notice whatsoever and just taking away their job, and then they don't even get to know why. They can't disclose to you why. Seems a little fishy to me, but anyways, we're going to end it there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it brought you guys some entertainment. If it did, hit that like button for me, and also hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more content from me, I got a lot of great stuff coming, so just hit that subscribe button. And with that said, if you guys haven't already commented on the video I posted about the giveaway, make sure you do that. Comment your Instagram username or your email, and I will be announcing the winners fairly soon. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. As you guys know, you're the best subscribers in the entire world, and I'll see you guys next time.